Okay, this is the uh, Weekend Warrior here. We're going to talk some more do-it-yourself plastic fishing baits. Uh, let's talk about some molds now. Okay, there's all kinds of things we can do with molds. There's all kinds of molds you can order. Um, let's talk about some pros and cons of those. Now here, I ordered some molds. These were real cheap, uh, like between $5 and $10 maximum on these. They're plastic. Okay, I got a little lizard there. I got a little trailer, which this is a cool looking trailer. I got a double worm. That's about the size of a Berkeley. Okay, we've got a bunch of these style. Now these, again, these are real inexpensive. These are five to ten dollars per mold. They don't have a lot of detail. Uh, they seem to work fairly well. The main thing with these, um, they're, if you're happy with the, the body of the mold or the design of the mold, then you're good. You just pour them and out comes a bait. The real, the most negative thing about them is when you pour them, they don't come out shiny like some of the other molds. Okay, so here's a worm that I poured. and the, the, Of course, those are open hand pour molds. That looks like it's hard to see. Okay, on the open pour side, you can see it's real shiny. On the other side, it's dull. That's it. That's the most negative thing about them. Now, if you put the, this in a bag full of worm oil, it's going to be shiny. Other than that, it's just a matter of, now this is ugly, which is why I have it uh, separate, because I didn't do the tail very well. That's probably didn't have my plastic hot enough. I don't really remember, but... So that's your, your plastic molds. Now these little trailers, these things come out, these are cool. They come out real good. That's a hand pour trailer. Ready to use. Now the next mold we're going to talk about is the silicone. The silicone molds are nicer because when the bait comes out of the silicone mold it's all nice and shiny just like a store bought bait. So the big challenge with the silicone mold is just finding the style that you want. These molds you can actually make yourself. I haven't tried it yet because the silicone is pretty pricey from what I've seen. The next mold we have is a generally called a pop mold, P-O-P, -P, or Plaster of Paris. Now this is a mold that I made out of Plaster of Paris. And all I did was took my standard favorite fish bait. I mixed up the plaster. I poured it in this container. After it was in there, I took my baits. And I can, I'll show you one later. We'll actually mix one up so you can see the whole thing from start to finish, even though these are everywhere on the internet. I want to try to give you one location where you can look at all the different information. And the fish are real hard because they have an open cavity for the hook. So you have to kind of wait for the pop to set up a little bit and then widen the hook area, put it in there, and let it fill full of pop. And then once it dries, you pull out the bait and this is what you're left with. The hardest thing with the homemade pop molds two things. One, you don't have any control over the plaster to speak of. So it's really easy for it to squish the bait, uh, especially with a bait like this. Now a regular worm, it's going to make an uh, excellent worm mold, but a, a little bit more complicated bait is, is harder. The other thing is the plaster is delicate. So I don't, if you can see the hook line in the mold, what I did with that was I took and mixed up some two 
part epoxy, which is one of the other, one of the many little items that you will have to have in, on hand. I mixed up some of the two part epoxy, took a paintbrush, paintbrushed over the middle part so it's very, very strong. Also, the two part epoxy, what that does is that uh, allows, um, well, when you pull your bait off, it's shiny. It, it seals the plastic when it pours in and it makes it shiny. Sealing the POP molds is, is for me, been my most challenging part. Now, so far, the items that I found have worked the best, believe it or not, has been Elmer's glue. I put it on there straight. A lot of people mix it with water, which I'll probably try next. I could see how that would actually be better because it'll help it soak into the mold itself, which would give you a barrier. Um, I paint it straight on, and that works well. And it gives you a good mold, and the bait comes right out of it. If you tried to pour a bait in a mold that's not sealed, it will bubble. The plaster gets in there. The uh, plastic gets in there in the, in the um, I don't know if it's the moisture or what, but it causes the bait to bubble. And you can pour baits in there 15 times and they're still going to bubble every time. The other thing is it does when you pull the bait out, it doesn't release. The plaster holds onto the bait and you get little transfer. So you'll have pieces of plaster in your bait. So you definitely need to seal it. The other thing you can seal it with, which I'm still experimenting with, 